Okay, so let's have this problem. So to solve for this projectile motion, then we have this given the initial velocity and the given angle. So first, we need to find the vertical component, the VIY. So to solve for the vertical component, so we have the initial velocity times sine theta. Then the given initial velocity is 23.4. Then sine theta. Theta is 41.8 degrees. So we have now the vertical component or the initial velocity for y. So this is 23.4. Then sine 41.8. Equal, so we have 15.60. So this is 15.60 then meters per second. Then for the horizontal component, the VIX or the initial velocity for X and the formula. So we have the initial velocity times cosine theta. So the initial velocity is 23.4, then cosine, the angle is 41.8. So to find now the horizontal component or the initial velocity for x, so we have 23.4, then cosine 41.8. Equal, so we have 17.44. So VIX is equal to 17.44 meters per second. Then the other given for Y and this one for X. So for Y, we have the gravity. That's negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Then we can also have the final velocity for y equals 0. So 0 at the maximum height. The final velocity for y that's equal to 0. So from this given, we can find now the total flight time or total time of flight. And the formula to find the total flight time. So we have the final velocity for y equals the initial velocity for y plus the gravity times the time. So take note that using this formula, we are only solving the time up because we're using the final velocity that's equal to 0 then equals the initial velocity for y, so we have 15.60 meters per second. Then plus the gravity, that's negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Then times the time. Then to solve for the time up, so transpose. So this becomes negative 15. 0.60 meters per second equals so negative 9.8 meters per second squared then times the time then to solve for the time so divide both sides by negative 9.8 meters per second squared so divide by negative 9.8 meters per second squared then cancel so again, we are only solving for the time up. So we have the time up equals, so this negative 15.60 divided by negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So cancel this meter, cancel this second. So we have negative 15.60 divided by negative. 9.8 equals so that's 
second sorry time up is 1.59 second then this time to find the time of flight and this is the time of flight so we have the time up plus the time down since time up is equal to the time down therefore to find the total time this is equal to 2 times the time up so we have 2 times 1.59 second so therefore the total flight time so we have 2 times 1.59 equals that's 3.18 seconds so the total flight time is 3.18 seconds so we have now the flight time equals 3.18 seconds then this time to find the horizontal displacement so to find the horizontal distance or the range so to solve for the horizontal distance or the range so using this formula the dx because this one is the horizontal distance or the range so dx equals the initial velocity for x times the total flight time and this is now the total flight time so we have 3.18 seconds so we have now dx equals the initial velocity for x so that's 17.44 meters per second times the total flight time that's 3.18 seconds then cancel now seconds so we have now the the range or the horizontal distance equals so this is 17.44 then times 3.18 equals so that's 55.46 meters so the range is 55.46 meters so we have now the range or the horizontal distance is 55.46 meters then to find for the maximum height or the peak height So the dy, using this formula, the final velocity for y squared equals the initial velocity for y squared in plus 2 times the gravity times the dy. Because from this peak height, the final velocity is equal to 0. So this becomes 0 squared equals the initial velocity for y. So this is 15.60 meters per second plus 2 times the gravity, negative 9.8 meters per second squared times the dy. Then this one is squared. So we have now 0 equals, so 15.60 squared. So we have 15.60 squared equals, that's 243.36. So this is 243.36 meter squared, second squared. Then 2 times negative 9.8, so we have 2 times negative 9.8, so that's negative 19.6, so this is negative 19.6 
meters per second squared times the dy. Then transpose this 243, so this becomes negative 243.36 meters squared second squared in equals negative 19.6 meters per second squared times the dy. Then divide both sides by negative 19.6 meters per second squared. So divide by negative 19.6 meters per second squared and cancel. So cancel this second squared, cancel this meter. So we have negative 243.36 divided by negative 19.6. So negative 243.36. Divide by negative 19.6 equals, so that's 12.42 meters. So the maximum height or the peak height dy equals 12.42 meters.